Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my trailer collection. Uh, now I know I said I was going to do this once a week, but I thought about it after I made the first one and I was like, you know what, <clears throat> instead of waiting a week, let me just do one like every few days, you know. Um, I kind of wanted to do it counting down the weeks, but you know, because I have like so many trailers, uh, I want to try to cover as many as I can, um, you know, during this uh, stay at home quarantining lockdown uh, thing, okay? So... I'm just going to do it every few days, okay? And as I'm sure you can see, the aspect ratio has changed. Uh, I'm trying to, like, test out which one I like the most. Um, all right, so let's get right into it. So last week, I showed you 10 trailers, or, or a few days ago, 10 trailers. Um, you know, stuff that I've held on to, stuff that I've acquired. So I have 10 new ones. Let's check them out. Okay, let's see. The first one I have here is... Pineapple Express. Take a look at that. Pineapple Express, Express Flat Tail. Um, this is actually the Red Band trailer for Pineapple Express. I ran this on... Um, uh, it's used. I ran this on... I think it was called Forgetting Sarah Marshall which came out in April of 2008, and that's when the trailer for Pineapple Express premiered. It was a red band. Red band trailers mean that it's an R-rated trailer. Uh, the trailer allows, uh, you know, cursing, violence, and, and just, like, other, you know, sexual stuff, drug usage, all that. So nothing is, like, tamed in the trailer. So really cool to have. And I ran Pineapple Express on 35 when it came out, too, which was, like, two or three weeks after Dark Knight. Next one I have is SWAT from 2003. Another movie I ran on 35. Let's see. SWAT. Scope. Columbia Pictures. Yeah, I, um, I ran this movie on 35mm uh, in August of 2003. It was like the last big summer movie to come out that summer. Um, this is the third and final trailer, so it's like a shorter version of the theatrical number two trailer, which is like two and a half minutes. But the one trailer I wish I had, um, I, or I wish I held on to, was the teaser for SWAT. Awesome trailer, definitely check it out. <clears throat> Next one I have on here, ooh, a trailer I did not run on 35, but it's two years, uh, it's, it came out the same year I started in the industry. And its anniversary just passed. This is for Reindeer Games. Let's see. This is a really underrated Christmas movie. Uh, Christmas action thriller. It's really awesome. Uh, I saw it in the theaters when it first came out. Great film. <clears throat> uh, next trailer is another movie I did not run on 35, but I was an usher when we had it, and this movie came out uh, a month after 9-11 happened. Um, let's see, it was actually postponed. It was delayed a month, apparently. I think it was supposed to come out in September of 2001, but they delayed it till, till like October of 2001, so here it is. It's training day. And it says upside down, training day with others. So if you remember the movie The Others, it's it was programmed to play on The Others. <clears throat> Great trailer. But I remember when we had this at, at when I was an usher at Movie Land. Uh, it, it was an awesome movie. It sold out, too. It sold really well. Um, let's see. Oh, this is from 2010. This is one of the last movies I ran on 35mm film. Um, but this is when I was currently uh, a full-time IMAX projectionist, but I would run some 35 if there were shifts available. This is Book of Eli. So you can see that. And there's a... Oh yeah, Book of Eli. And it tells you to play on... If you can see that, G.I. Joe. 
Yeah, I ran this. This came out January of 2010, uh, post-apocalyptic movie, and here we are, ten years later, living in a in a world where uh, crazy virus is creeping up on everybody. All right, so it's next one I have here is Freddy vs. Jason. I did not run this on 35. The theater that I worked at, um, we got certain studios. We got most of the big ones, which were the big ones at the time, and the theater. Um, at the other end of the uh, parking lot, they got other studios like New Line, Disney, Touchstone, Hollywood, uh, MGM Films. But I did run this trailer on uh, Matrix Reloaded in May of 2003, and it had such a great reaction by the audience. But here it is. The real label is actually behind the tape, if you can see it. It's a bad movie, great trailer, but it's too short. The trailer is too short. Um, ooh, this is *Inglorious Bastards* from 2009. I ran this trailer um, on um, uh, Freddy, not, not Freddy, um, Friday, Friday the Thirteenth, the remake, February of 2009, and that's when this trailer premiered. Um, now it's kind of weird. It says trailer number three on here, um, but sometimes, like you know, when they premiere a trailer, it'll say like number three or four A or you know T two or like, like whatever. Um, but but you know, sometimes the the order is off when they release it. So, uh, but yeah, I, and I ran Inglorious Bastards on thirty five as well, August of two thousand nine. Ooh, a movie I did not run on 35. I was actually supposed to build this at a theater uh, when I was doing full-time IMAX. I wasn't running 35 at this point, um, but I ran the IMAX print of this when we had it on, on IMAX film in July of 2010. This is Inception. This is a great trailer. I think it says, oh, it doesn't say what the program on, but it's Inception version 3 scope. Uh, yeah, so I was supposed to build this up for a manager friend of mine, um, but by the time I got to it, they were able to get somebody to do it. So, But I did handle the IMAX print, which is like, you know, that's real Nolan right there. So he loves IMAX. Um, ooh, another film. I did not run on 35, and my theater surprisingly did not get it because we always got Warner Brothers uh, films. But I have this trailer right here. I've acquired, just like the Training Day and the Reindeer Games trailer, I've acquired through people uh, because I had no access to the projection booth. This is 13 Ghosts. That's an awesome trailer. And it says on the back... Program on Joyride. That was a Paul Walker film. It's really cool to see, like, to tell you uh, if you have all that information to see what movie it played on. It's pretty pretty cool to uh, to see that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, another movie I ran on 35. Uh, the year I started doing IMAX, but I did not run this on IMAX. I started training with a movie that came out after uh, a couple months after called Spider-Man 3. Uh, this is 300. This is Zack Snyder's second movie. Um, I ran three of his movies on 35, his first three, Dawn of the Dead, 300, and Watchmen. And this is 300. Yeah. And it's cool. It has the IMAX tag to it. So what that means is, is that... Um, at the end of the trailer, if it has like an IMAX tag, it'll say in theaters and in IMAX. So that's that's what that means. So um, I have a double of this, and I might have a double of one of these, one of these right here in this collection. Um, but yeah, so that's ten trailers for tonight. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you're enjoying my collection so far. 
please reach out to me, you know, share your collection if you have any. Uh, you know, start a conversation about trailers. I love trailers. I think they're a great art form. Um, I don't think they make them as well anymore. But I will say that the best lineup of trailers I've seen recently was towards the end of 2009 with uh, Six Underground, Bad Boys for Life, and Top Gun. You know, really, really awesome trailers. And uh, they need to make them more like that. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you can get all the updated videos that I make, okay? Please be safe, stay home, and uh, keep watching movies. Oh, and this is an 80s Die Hard production. Later, everyone. Bye.